Man, and welcome back to episode 18 of our Let's Play on Dramod Farm. So, here we are. Um, why turn that down a bit? Um, so we've got a few things to be getting on with today. Uh, I've fed everything. We're running out of corn. We've run out of corn in storage, that's why that's not completely full. Uh, we've got 13 pigs, 32 cows, and 22 sheep. We're going to let the sheep just go. You know, let them, let them run. These guys are going to get to about 20, then I'm going to take them back to 10. Um, and same with these, 35 and then back, you know. Um, but uh, got a few things to be doing, so what is happening over here? I have not a fucking clue. Uh, I think we're combining. Yes, there we are, combining. Fire up the Dominator. That is loud. Right, we're also... We're also going to be selling this 8340 and buying... Um, we're going to be buying a... MB track, that's what they're called. Um, we're going to be buying the one that's out of the Let's Play, well, the multiplayer game, sorry, not the Let's Play. But I thought this is the best thing to get rid of because it's, you know, we've used it. I mean, I like the John Deere and all that because they're powerful. Some of you could have said, oh, why don't you just get rid of the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Fiat 11090. I like that tractor. Um, I do like the 8340s, but you know, this this mark, this one. We might as well get something different. We've got the money, 120,000. We might as well just crack on and change it out. Why don't we? Now somebody said they did want to see Euro trucks, so I'll do a bit of that at some point. There might be a few more of them videos simply because I'm not going to do it all at once, I'll do it in sections. And it is about to go into night, so it is... Well, 15 minutes past 7 I think. If I remember 19, so... Sell that, yep. 192,000. Where is it? Is it selected? There it is, the 900 turbo. So it's 95 horsepower, 120 litres of diesel. Oh, it's actually quite. It's two mile an hour slower than the 8340. It's a lot cheaper as well. Is there anything else? We've got these ones. I think these are the same, but they don't have the same noise. Like this one has a bit more of a gurgling noise, but that's only 90 horsepower. These are 172. So we could go for one of them actually. Uh, shall we? Yeah, I think we should. It goes all the way up to 100. Whoa, it goes all the way to 210 horsepower? 200,000 there. Fuck. Does the other one have any attachments? Sorry, I'm, I'm just... I haven't actually touched any. So this is stock. So if you bought this, it'd be 95 horsepower standard. But it is it has a real nice sound to it. Um, tell you what we will do. We'll lease that. For a second, I want to just—I just really want to see what it sounds like, and I don't want to go into my other game. If this sounds as nice, we'll get this. Doesn't sound too bad. Oh, that sounds—that's nice. Yeah, we're getting this. We're taking. <laughs> This is the one. Uh, 
Right, so let's take it off the lease. Just return it and buy it, because that is nice. I didn't realise it was going to sound that nice. What should we put on? So we've got 184,000. So we can go right up to 180 horsepower. 140. Tell you what, we could leave it at 140 then just upgrade it when we need it. Uh, standard wide tyres, narrow tyres, terror tyres. Does that mean they're tracked? Terra tyres, what the fuck are they? Oh, that's got me curious now. That's really got me fucking curious. Let's have a look what these are. I mean, we'll change it. Oh, standard. <laughs> I think. Are these standard? Um, no, I think they're a bit wider, aren't they? Yeah. I, like, I think they're flight flotations, I think. Are they? Now, this part, this part one probably is not as good as the other one, like, suspension-wise. I know that one had a lot of... A lot of detail to it. If you watch the multiplayer Let's Play thing, it had a lot of detail to it. Also, the rev gauge doesn't seem to sit at zero. Um, but I like this one. I wanted one with a bit more power as well. Uh, oh, we'll change the tyres on it. Fuck it. Sorry that we're just. Sorry that I'm wasting time, but. Customize. Oh, we'll just stick standards on it. We'll leave it at standard, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Um. Oh! Open the door from the outside. Very nice. So it has IC, so you can undo that, wind the window down, uh, open the sunroof. Anything on the front? Uh, no. Anything over here? Yep. Uh, back window. Yep. I don't think you can. I don't think you can do that one. So it kind of acts like half a window. So you can wind down both. Both windows. Fucking hell! Wind down. Fuck me. <laughs> this thing is old. Um, there is another thing I wanted to get if we've got the money. So as you can see, we have this a six meter cultivator, which is 180 horsepower requirement. Um. But if we go into here, I have got this mod installed, so that's 63, and then, you know, these two. But the problem is, the, the back end of the tractor has to be extremely weighted to, to actually sort that. And what I'm going to do is, I'll, I'll take this into my test save game, this tractor, and I will, uh, I will uh, have a look what it goes to. Now, does this thing have changeable steer change driving direction left control B oh sick uh, control B huh. that is cool uh, anything else not that I can see. Let's go. Now, that, now this this is loud. Fuck me, that is loud. <laughs> Tell you what, we could get actually front mower. Front mowers, front mowers. So we have that. That's eighty horsepower. Four point three meters. So what's that? Three point two. Three point one. Uh, they're not going to be any good, are they? I wanted to put a front mower on on it when we had the side mower on, um, simply because you know then we can do two rows. It gets it done a bit quicker. That's twelve thousand pounds. Uh, yeah, fuck it, I'll put that on. Bit of a spending spree this episode. But this thing is nice. I haven't actually used these very often. Um, I don't know why. I just I haven't just I just haven't used them that much. A 
sorry that we've been pissing about so much. Well, I've been pissing about. I think you can hear my brother singing as well, which is also going to be a big pain in the ass because that's going to come out in the video. Well, it helps if I line that up properly. Does it have front length? Yes, she does. Does it line up? Yes, it does. Big question. Yes, it does power it. So, hopefully, next episode we should be able to get that big cultivating setup. Now, I hope you can all hear me over the noise of this thing because it is loud as fuck. Um, because I know a few people were saying they couldn't hear the tractors over me, so I've turned, I've changed all the volume. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not too sure how loud this is actually going to be. Fucking hell, it's nice. That is... <laughs> real fucking straight pipe, that is. Fucking hell, it's deafening. I'm actually quite glad we did the change now. Now if at some point we do need the extra power or I will put the bigger engine in this. This will go to uh, 210. I'm just not good at all when it's powering up because it's so fucking loud on my headphones. I'm going to just take one off at the moment, so I've got them cock, well I've got them uh, out of the way so I can at least hear myself. Right, let's just see, does the front suspension have, it's not too too bad. It does, does wobble a bit and stuff, but I think the other one is a lot better for suspension than that. Where's the front one? Well, you know, it does, it does have the basic suspension, which is just not bad. Uh, but that little one does have everything. Let's just see what this looks like when we hook the two. Have a good idea now without facing the bay one. That's not too bad of a setup. Um, do we need anything? Could do with some more grass bales so we can probably go out. We'll mow that big field there in grass and maybe the one behind us. We won't bother with them little ones up there. Because uh, yeah, there's only the cows and the sheep. We've got to stretch the straw for the cows and the pigs, and now we've got to stretch the, sh the grass for the Cows and blue sheep. If I can get me fucking words out there. Right. Right. Ten to touch. I'd, I'd really like to have a go at one of these in real life. I bet they are so nice to drive. I mean, this is just a game. I didn't realise how good this sound is. I mean, a lot of people might disagree that it sounds shit, but I really enjoy I really like it, this. This actually sounds pretty amazing. That should get some quite a speed, but you don't want to go too... What I've learnt with this thing is don't... This side mower here only likes to work at a certain nine, like nine mile an hour, for example. Happily. I found when I was going too fast, it was leaving, you know, it was actually missing all over it. So. Yeah. Now these fields still need ploughing, so we've got to do that at some point. I'm just, I'm just, just playing now. I'm not, I'm not concentrating on anything. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Which is what the game's about, you know, I'm not taking it too seriously. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to do this for too long, 
simply because it is becoming night in game. You know, I'll cut this through the night, probably, and bail it and whatever. And probably stack it in the next episode, and I might. I'm not going to fast forward time until it's all stacked in. But what I'll do is I'll just sit with the game running. I'll be doing. I'll probably do a load of other things like edit this video and you know, render it and shit like that. Ready for for the episode 19 and then episode 20, the big one. So that's that means we're 20 episodes into this map. We're fucking ready. <laughs> He's got some amazing equipment. Um, I've had a load. I've actually really enjoyed this map. Just, just the amount of time it took him to build it, and then how good it actually is. It's actually a lot better than most maps that take months. Like this map didn't take very long at all for him to build. Um, I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. But, you know, I, you know, I, I say that like you know, I say that I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. But I've, I've had people comment in my videos going, "You can't say that about my mod." You know? Not saying it's taken this long to build and shit like that, and it's you know some people do find it because <clears throat> then they get people saying oh you've rushed it and stuff like that. But hopefully he doesn't mind. But anyway, it didn't take that long. I think he said it took him a week, a week and a bit, if I remember rightly. I'll probably fuck that up, but I think if I remember rightly, I think he did say a week. Um, but fuck me, my memory is bollocks, so I don't know. We could have probably said a day and it's still for me. I don't know if there's a button to make all these lower at once. It might be control V. Let's just try that. Control V. Yeah, shift V. Right, so control V lifts the front, shift V lifts the back. What's the button to make them all lift at the same time? Because I think that that is an option, isn't it? That is there. Lift mode V. Do I have to be in the middle? No, that's still only lift one. Right, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time with this mowing. I'm not in a rush. I'll mow the other field as well. We'll get. We might as well get some grass bales. Um, you know, I, I don't like losing. I don't like using loose. If people watch my videos, I tend to I tend not to use it. Simply because <laughs> I have to calculate how much to put in. You know, some people say just put one bucket in, one bucket in, one bucket in. But if you're used to using it, you know, it is second nature. You know, I, I I never use loose. I don't know why. I just prefer bales all the time. Alright, some occasions I have just put loose down, you know, just to you know, make sure there's something there, you know. It just it is to be honest, it is a lot faster. It does speed it up. But uh, you know <clears throat> I don't really uh, understand why people want to use loose so much. I'm happy to move the mic closer to my mouth to make sure you guys can hear me. <laughs> Um, I'll have to listen to this back and see whether I can actually hear myself and then if I can then I'll leave the game settings where they are if not I'll tweak them again but sorry if this video turns out shit and you can't hear me you should be able to let's just have a look at our suspension behaviors on this oh the springs do move there is life in the springs I think the next thing to get is a butterfly set and sell this side mode. Just, just simply how fast it is. But I like the the fact that you can lift this side mode and lift the front one individually to each other. You know, whereas a but I think the butterfly set you can't. I think that's down. It's either all down or all up. There's no, there's no give. I completely forgot I had these. I've only I only just put them back in. Um, I forgot I had them, and I forgot how nice they were. That's why I wanted to lease one to, and start it up. 
I wish someone made we could make that a mod. You know, if you want to just lease it and start it and then give it them back, you know, to see how it sounds. That was for free. Because eight grand seems a lot to lease it, start it, and give it them back. I mean, I should have probably started it. If I was, if I knew what I was going to do this episode, I probably should have started it on a different map. On Beyond, oh, I've got Beyond Home saved with about a couple of billion on it, and all I do is buy. All I do is download a load of mods and then put them in there and test them. If it's a mower, I'll go mower field. If it's a tractor, just run it around and see what it does. See what it sounds like. See what the cabs are like. See what the... You know, just test it. Well, and then I sometimes will buy a load of mods, save the game and re rejoin the game and see which ones fuck up. Because I have had mods completely crash the game when you save and load. You know, some of them don't like working. Like, they'll load in, but the second you buy them and try and load them and load back in again, it don't work. Um, a couple of people wanted to see a mod spreadsheet. A, bro a mod spreadsheet? I'm not going to do it. it. Takes too long. It takes too long to hunt down all the mods again, and half of them, I don't know where I got them from anyway, because people just send me them. Uh, especially for that multiplayer game, Scooter Rage just puts them all in a fucking mod. You know, big file and just says download, so I get a lot of them there. Um, so that's the other issue. But uh, I know that sounds a bit rude of me just saying straight up no, but I did try for 15 and I got oh, about, well, it took me about three hours and I didn't even get halfway through it, and that was three hours, and I, and I just thought, fuck it, I'm a bother. You know? Most of the mods that I find are already released and they're already on like the first page of most mod websites. You just you just need to click and look at the pictures and stuff. So I'm not gonna do a mod this and I and half the time if you listen to the video I tell you where I got them from anyway. But I don't think people listen because I still get comments asking where I got shit from. And that's annoying. Like I don't know where I got this MB trap from. It, I think it was Mod Oster. Mod Toaster. I don't know. Mod Toaster. I think it was there. I remember rightly, but I have no idea. Where's the combine still there? It's not on, is it? We're mowing grass and we've got a combine that needs to be moving. Shit. Oh, we'll mow grass. Fuck it. I like mowing grass more than combine. cows over there. So we've got a fair few silages. Well, we've got a load of silage still left, but we'll uh, have to... That's sort of running low, so we'll have to get that sorted. Uh, what else? We've got a few other things to do. Um, you know, there's odd jobs to be getting on with. The pigs seem to be happy. Um, and they seem to be making us a lot of manure and slurry and stuff. You know. If only they didn't need so much to actually get going. You know, they need uh, the corn, potatoes, sunflowers, you know, straw, wheat, and all that. <coughs> and it's just, uh, it just, if you start in the game, it just takes ages to get going. Uh, yeah, so I've put I've put one trailer load of barley in storage. One is that two or one? I think that's two loads of potatoes. So we need to do a corn harvest and put a trailer load in, uh, and then we'll put a uh, we'll do an OSR harvest and put a load of that in, and then we'll leave that that li that will leave sunflower and soya bean ready to be ready for us just to harvest and just put away because they're the most expensive crops we're not going to bother fucking about with them uh... wood chip oh wood chips are going for quite some quite a good price at the moment may get, may get into that, I don't know yet I'm not too sure well, 13 miles an hour, no Great. <coughs> 
know you're supposed to lift the mowers at the end, but who cares? Let's just go around. Quite nice lights on it as well, quite bright. So yeah, this is to be the most, uh, well, it is one of the most successful Let's Plays I've done for 17 so far. Which I'm quite happy. I'd like to thank everyone for the support and everything, again, like I always do. Um, yeah, I do work. Uh, I'm sorry for the you know these past couple of days I only look I think I one day I fucked up a video and deleted it so then there wasn't a new one out released a new one last night I didn't do one um, you know it's, it's it's just when I get it's just well last night I was in team speak till about I was it was about nine o'clock and then I decided oh, I'm going to bed um, so I didn't have a video recorded or anything which I probably should uh, I probably should record a few in bulk and, uh, you know, we'll record a few in bulk and then, uh, and then all I've got to do is upload them and I'm going to sort them out. But uh, the thing is, I don't want to burn myself out on this map. You know, I can play, I'll, pl I'll happily play farm sim for hours on end, but if I play the same map, I'll bur I honestly will burn myself out and not want to play it. Which is why I, I only jump on this map, do a little bit before the next video, do a bit in the video and then jump off it again. For a, I'll jump off it for about a day. No, I won't, I'll probably come off this now, I won't play for the rest of the day. This, uh, this map anyway. I'll do something else. Um, simply so, when I jump back on it, I'm not humming and ahhing what I should do or, you know, not wanting to do anything. People want to see this map. I mean, I like uh, I like reading the comments to people's video on on this video as well. You know? People always leave handy comments. People always leave positive comments. You know, there's always a good. Nobody just calls me a dick straight up, but I won't blame you if you did. I haven't done any of this in cab, I don't know why, I've done it all out of cab. Mainly so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Alright. Wrong button. Fold all the mower away. Brim, 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 brim. I like. I don't know why. I just keep making. I just make funny noises when I'm trying to think of what to say. But this tractor is nice. I will give the mod maker that. It is a very nice machine. Oh, so put the. Oh, I think we'll put it in here. I think we'll put this. Rear mower in here. I don't know why it does that. You sort of. Oh, no, I want the MB fucking. I want the MB truck. Put the. F oh, I'll put the front over here. So the sound just goes off here. Look, you just look like that. The sound goes off. <laughs> That's weird, that is. I'm stood next to the exhaust. And there's nothing. Oh, back there, man. I think we'll put the case of the John Deere on the uh, the trailer. There we go. So there's our MB track, our our new edition. Um, very nice mod. It is absolutely well made. It sounds really good. Um, you know, it's got lots of detail on the back here. I mean, there's not too much, but there's it's better than most mods. A lot better than most mods, you know, it's got detail on the front, nice springs and all that detail. Nice uh, bonnet detail and all that. Lovely straight pipe sound it has. Uh, this is the Keenan feeder, what the fuck am I looking at that for? And uh, also it's got a really nice interior as well. 
I should probably just open the door. As you can see, really nice interior. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today, and I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming, and goodbye.